Hi store owners, my name is Crystal and welcome to Advanced Coupons channel. Online shopping is a big hit now, especially during holidays. People love browsing online stores at the comfort of their own home. In today's episode, I'm going to teach you how to create buy to and get one for half the price in your WooCommerce store using our Advanced Coupons plugin. This deal will help you boost your sales and increase your profit. So let's start. Of course, first thing to do here is to create a coupon and let's go to coupons and add new. I'm going to name the coupon as test one. In addition, since the release of our advanced coupons free plugin version 3.0, the BOGO deal that used to be under usage limits here is now part of the general tab. Under the discount type, with the percentage discount, fixed cart discount, fixed product discount, fixed cart discount. And for today's video, of course, I'm going to use the BOGO deal because that would be for the buy two, get one for half the price. Also, we renamed the settings that we do have here. This used to be the trigger and now it's customer buys. And this used to be the apply type and now it's customer gets. And in this video, of course, you could use any options here. But in this video, I'm going to use the product categories. Let's say I do have a lot of unwanted uh, inventory for my shirts and I want to get rid of my stocks before the new year comes because, of course, there will be a new fashion trend. And I want to release those new trends in my site. So here, since we are going to use the buy to get one, I'm going to use the quantity of two here for the customer buys. It means that if the customer buys two t-shirts under t-shirt category, the coupon will be triggered. Next, for the customer gets. Again, you could use any option here, but for today's example, I'm going to use the product categories. I'm going to use the t-shirt here. Okay, and one percentage discount of 50%. So for this deal, if the customer added two t-shirts in the cart, this would be two paying t-shirts then they will get another shirt so that would be a total of three they will get another shirt for 50 percent discount for that shirt for the additional settings of our bogo of course you could use the only ones it means that you could use this coupon uh, one for one time for this order or you could use it repeatedly it means that let's say they already bought two or they have two paying uh, t-shirt in the cart then they will get one t-shirt for 50 percent discount and then let's say they added this one for four then they will get two shirts that would have 50 percent discount then let's move on for the notice or the notification uh, by default we do have the your current cart is eligible to redeem deals so it's up to you if you wish to change it but i'm going to use the default one also for the button text you could use the ad here uh, get discounted t-shirt but it's up to you again i'm going to use the default text which is the view deals uh, this button url this would be you need to fill this out also because of course we do have a specific category where the customer needs to choose from and this would be an important part of the settings because we don't want to redirect the customer to another uh, category or to our shop page because they might add a non-discounted product and they will they might get upset because of that so to make sure we have to redirect them to the proper category so i'm going to go to the categories here and let's check for the link of the t-shirt then let's view here okay i'm going to copy the link here and then paste it here okay and then save also, you could use for this BOGO deal, you could use the auto apply coupon option. 
you can activate this one but as a suggestion you need to use the cart conditions if you are going to use the apply or auto apply coupon option as a backup condition for your BOGO deal. So for this, since we I am using the product category or yeah, product categories as the customer buys, I'm going to use it also as a supporting condition here for the cart. So let's say here, so I will choose the product categories exist in cart. To add it, can, I'm going to choose t-shirt too, of course. And then condition more than and cart quantity one why one because more than one is technically two so once the cart have two t-shirts under uh, t-shirt categories the coupon will be auto applied so let me update this one and let's test this coupon I'm going to visit my site shop page okay so let's go to buy some t-shirts here let's choose some design so I'm going to buy this plain t-shirt for $18 and then let's check other t-shirts here or I'm going to buy also this one t-shirt with logo for ten dollars so let's view the cart if you can see here the coupon has been auto applied it's still zero here because you have deal or the discounted item is not yet added in the cart so I have two items here one is for $18 and the other one for $10 and the notification is here your current cart is eligible to redeem deals and then here is the button view deals button so if you click this one to view the deal you will be redirected to the URL that I added on the settings and this would be the t-shirt category so this would be the correct page Let's say since I've purchased or since I've added and I'm willing to pay for $18 and $10 per t-shirt, what if I'm going to add this $50 or yeah, this polar shirt for $50? Will the discount be applied on this product? Let's check. So here, an item has been added and the discount would be $5. It means that the $50 or the 50% discount has been added to the cheapest item in the cart instead of applying it to the $50. Uh, this would be a good thing for the store owners, of course, and majority of the store owners wants, to, uh, wants the system to choose the cheapest item in the cart. Or if you want to give a, a specific item for the discount, you could use the specific products for your BOGO but for this it will always be the cheapest item who will receive the discount so I hope this video helps and we will be attaching a link for an article regarding this one too I hope you enjoyed the video and if you do have other requests just feel free to email us please don't forget to subscribe and like this video bye